Good afternoon, good morning, good evening. How are you today? This is a nice hot day in the UK. We've been suffering from the heat. If you're from anywhere in the rest of the world, you're thinking, well, they all make their fuss about Well, I don't know, actually, to be honest. I think it's lovely. I did a video the other day about the use of an app, and uh, obviously it's been quite popular, so I thought I'd do another one. Apps, I use them all the time. When I was a kid and going to work, we didn't used to have apps. We used to have equipment, and equipment cost a lot of money. So we had to make do, and uh, the workshops that I worked in were never that well off that they could afford loads and loads of stuff. Anyway, when I got my own workshop, I bought stuff, and it cost a lot of money. We are talking many, many, many years ago. We're talking 35, 40 years ago. So what I've got now is I've got the beautiful freedom of apps. When I'm on the Facebook groups and things, people don't seem to understand that apps are wonderful. In fact, according to some Facebook groups, if you haven't got yourself the all singing, all dancing latest oscilloscope, you're just not alive. Well, I don't know. I don't think that's really true. I think if you want to have that sort of equipment, that's fine. But if you've just got a cassette deck that you bought from a thrift store, charity shop, whatever you want to call it, bargain basement, what you need is to be able to make sure it's working okay. How do you do that? If you're a normal man in the street, well, you can... There's, there's plenty you can do. You just have to look at it logically. And that's the point of my channel. Gary, keep it simple. Try to give you information you need in the way that you can use it, rather than the high-tech way that some of these fans and techs and that would try and have you believe. I don't know why they do that. It's keyboard warriors, a lot of them, but... Um, yeah, anyway, let's let's not get stuck down that rabbit hole. Let's get stuck down a different one. Apps. These are the apps I use, and I'll show you, and I'll tell you what I can do with them. If you looked at my Android phone, you'd find there is a little section there, and this is what's in it. This is all the functions that I need most of the time. I've got a couple of others on there, but this is the ones I keep together. And we're going to look today at the one on the right-hand side, which is called... We've seen that already, but we'll look at it properly. And before anybody asks, I am not being paid for this. I use these because they're available, they're free, and they're good. Why do I like this one? Simple. It's got the output down there on the right-hand side, which is left and right, so that means it does it in stereo. And you've got your waveforms, which are sine, triangle, and square. And you've got various other controls on it. And you've got frequency sweeps, and you've got bursts. So all in all, it's a very comprehensive piece of kit. However, if you want something simple, then you can just go with one of these. It's in mono, but you've got the option of three tones, and that's useful for some things. This one's simpler to use, and it's just nice and works. If you've got these sort of apps, then you've got the basics you need for being able to test audio, because you could do azimuth, you can do tracking, you can do alignment, you can do frames response, you can do bass response, you can do bursts and things. If you know what you're doing, you can do a lot. If you don't know what you're doing, you can do a little, but at least you can do it. And to finish with, I'll give you a real life example. So I'm going to hand me over to me. Has your deck got a knob like this? Ever wonder what it does? It's for fine tuning the tape to the deck. If you get an app like this and you set it up, two frequencies, one high, one low, put it in, record it so they're both at the same level, but as you twiddle the knob, and then when you play it back, you'll see that where the knob was makes a difference. So all you've got to do is make note of where the knob was, and then when you replay it, you can get it right. The levels will be perfect. Best sound you'll ever get out of your deck. But if you can't do that, well, don't worry about it. Just set it in the middle position and it'd be about right for any tape. That's the way to do it. So I hope you got some value from that. If you did, look, then maybe you'd like to hit the like and subscribe and hit the notification bell for our future videos. And uh, in the meantime, I'll catch you another time. Any comments, put them in the bottom and I'll get back to you.